Hello, church family. Thank you so much for joining us today as we look at the prayer focus, as we continue together in our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Today is day 13. We are more than halfway there. And our prayer focus today is the vision for the church. And the, the best way for us to prepare our hearts before we pray together is to look to the Word of God. And I just have a few scriptures I want to share with you. The first one is in John 15, 16. And Jesus said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Jesus chose us so that we would dwell in him, so that we would bear good fruit and that we would multiply that fruit and that fruit would abide, it would remain. And then in Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20, and Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you to the end of the age. That's it, church. That is our mandate. Jesus has given us, he has all authority and he has now empowered the church, you and me with that authority. And he has given us a mandate to go and make disciples, not to go and give our opinion, not to go and, uh, and get people to pray the sinner's prayer. That's great, but it goes beyond that. The vision of the church is for us to go and to make disciples here in our community and across the world. Let me leave you with one last verse before we pray. In Acts 6, 7, this is after Jesus had gone to heaven. He had been crucified, given his life for us and ascended to heaven. And it says in Acts 6, 7, and the word of God continued to increase and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem and many of the priests became obedient to the faith. Jesus had gone. He was no longer with them physically, but he had equipped them and, and given them everything they needed to make disciples. And here we see the fruit of it in the early church. Church And the good news, friends, is that he has equipped you and he has equipped me. He has equipped us as the church, as the body of Christ. And let's go forward in our vision and fulfill the mandate of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you would entrust us with such a great privilege of making disciples, Lord. We cannot do it on our own. And so today we ask you, Father, for a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. God, would you remind us of where we were before someone came and told us about the great love of Jesus Christ? Would you remind us, Lord, of the many who need Jesus around us? God, I pray that the vision of the church would be strong. God, in 2021, we don't need to look back to the previous year or even the previous decades. Lord, we look forward to what you have in store for the church of Jesus Christ in these last days. Empower us, Lord. Endue us with power, Lord. Equip us. God, I pray that we would understand the power that is at our fingertips as we pick up your word and you speak to us from the pages. We thank you once again for the privilege, Lord. Strengthen your church. May we be pure and spotless when you return. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. God bless you.